Today we are in Paris and we get the fashion scoop at Louis V. La vidéo est sous-titrée en français. We talk exclusively to Jonathan Anderson about his Louis V women's collection for winter 2021-2022. For me, I want to go dancing, I want to clubbing, I want to, I want to go out, I want to drink, I want to, you know, have fun. Color is ultimately, I think, is a good way of um, staying positive. There's no fashion show for 2021 reasons, but we got access to the photo shoot of the super colorful collection on supermodel Freya Bea Eriksen, and we talk to the master himself. Hello, I'm Luc Prigent, and I film the fun of fashion. Subscribe to my channel, it's a red button, if you want to see the fashion and understand everything. Leave a comment and hit the notification bell. Here we are in lavish Hotel La Paiva on the Champs Elysees. It's the artist Fumiko Imano who becomes a great fashion photographer for the occasion, immortalizing the collection. Jonathan Anderson is a designer at the head of Loewe, and nobody else can explain the collection as him. Bonjour. Bonjour. How are you? Good, very good. I hear that uh, the Loewe show has been cancelled. It's been cancelled again. <laughs> this time we're shooting in three different locations to kind of like export the show. The last one will be in my office. Um, <laughs> I think that your office is as iconic as La Paiva. And... Exactly. The idea was to kind of take the concept which we would have done, which was a yellow carpet with these sort of gold cubes, the kind of reflective cubes, and kind of transport this show into different locations and we shot on Freya and kind of broke the collection into three kind of groupings. Buckles to transform yourself into a sculpture. Le vernissage, c'est moi. High priestess of pleasure dresses. So this shows you a bit of what we've been doing. We did a lot of great work this year um, where we kind of did these sort of like large embellishments where we have kind of wrapped the silk around it and embroidered them. Um, so the buckle is a recurrent Yeah, and the shoes and the bags, like... Where, where does it come from, the buckle, well, in your kind mind? Of like, well, for me, we were looking at buckles before. We've done it in different collections, but this is... I like this idea of... I've always loved, like, a kind of... Like a 17th century buckle. Very kind of... I don't know, like... Jack the Ripper, that kind of moment, you know, like where you have these sort of Dickensian shoes. Um, and, and I kind of like that they've become embossed versions of of themselves. We kind of, I'm all about colour at the moment, lots of jacquard. Um, this is silk jacquard? Yeah. Very and soft? Very soft. And very luxurious? Very luxurious. Um, but I think it's, you know, I think for me this was to try to kind of break out of a vocabulary that where we've been, to kind of go somewhere um, new. I, I am all about kind of in this moment of crisis, how do you kind of flip it to kind of look at um, ways in which you can reinvent your own design process or how you've got there. Colors! Colors are a big thing in the Loewe collection. After the stay-at-home winters and springs, it seems that Loewe took paintings by Matisse, Mondrian, Delaunay, Kandinsky and shook them. I think it's the first time that we've really kind of gone very um, intense color, like very oversaturated colors. Um, like the knits and things, we've kind of done a lot of brushed out yarns um, and even just like working on colour combinations to try to kind of find new ways that we can approach things. Um, we we'll go a bit more <gasps> kind of wild, yeah, you've yeah. got that kind of crochet, the mohair. I got my attention. Yeah. Speech. You know, I think sometimes colour is ultimately, I think, uh, is a good way of um, staying positive. <laughs> Let's put it that way. My whole thing is when we come out of this period, I do feel that we're going to want more from, I don't know. I, I can, I, I, for me, I want to go dancing, I want to clubbing, I want to, I want to go out, I want to drink, I want to, you know, have fun. So I do feel like there's this thing where I think you want clothing which is inner, like it's sort of got an energy to it, it's energetic, it's sort of, it's sort of got a bit of speed in it, which I think is good. You know, I've been saying throughout the season, project ourselves always on a sofa. I think we need to be able to kind of project somewhere, even if it doesn't happen. Um, sometimes that idea of like kind of setting a goal forward to go to is, is good. So I, I don't know, I feel very optimistic with things. I think it's a, an optimistic moment for clothing, but I think it's a, a moment where we can change things in clothing and kind of get outside of our comfort zone. Circles like the sun, but the color of sea for a peaceful effect. Huge shapes to go with your perfect lockdown body and dance without limits. 
And then obviously with the show not happening, we've kind of taken this idea of like, obviously using digital, but at the same time looking at the idea of the newspaper and how the classicism within information gathering from newspapers. Um, so we will be kind of distributing this through all newspaper channels around the world at, for, as a show. So the title of the show is The Show is Cancelled, because that's a reality. Um, and then we'll be working with um, Daniel Steele, um, the writer, which is really exciting. I've always been kind of obsessed by Daniel Steele. Anyone who can encourage people to read, I, I feel, is like, is so incredibly important, do you know what I mean? And for me, I think she kind of really symbolizes that as a writer, as a mother, like someone who is incredibly driven by the work, by, you know, by kind of being immersed in it. It becomes a narrative backdrop to the collection. So instead of having a set, you have the writing. We have, we've got a new bag this year, which breaks down into several kind of sizes, which is a Goya. And this is really the first time that we've done a, very, a hard structured bag in Spain, like really kind of like focusing on like really good construction. Um, we brought back the Amazona from the 70s, which is like um, the first time I've kind of gone back to it since I joined the Huawei. So, yeah, it's, it's very. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's very pre um, it's, it's a symbol of bourgeoisie in yeah. Spain, Spain, right? And I kind of, I, just, I don't know, there's something about it recently that. I, I don't know, I, I feel like in as much as I'm, try, I'm trying to kind of flip where we're going, I like this idea that we're kind of looking at classicism in a different way. Like, I think there's something about um, icons that are becoming more important in grounding a look. So we just, we kind of changed the construction. What did change? Well, we kind of did different ways of piping. So we kind of, instead of binding it just flat, we kind of piped the edge. Um, we went back to the kind of original lock from the 70s and and we just made it lighter, a bit more really kind of leathery. Um, so, and it's suede lined. So, I don't know, it was just to try to kind of focus on the things like the flamenco, you know, the Amazona, the Goya, trying to kind of rein, uh, reinforce the classics. And then when we came to like the newer bags, like the puzzle, which is our, our best-selling bag, to really kind of go for that kind of like, kind of electrify it, you know what I mean? And this is done with our leather and tarsier where you have, you cut the pieces of leather and then you... It's in um, yeah, it's not yeah, printed. It's not printed. Ooh, so, so here, this is like, this is a bag that goes on your wrist. Um, my wrists are huge, let me bit this one will fit. But the idea, it was, we made them in different sizes. I like the idea, it's like a kind of clutch that kind of is like a bracelet. Um, you can put things inside, and so it's sort of like this, and it's um, a pleated leather. What's his name? I don't know if it has a name yet, <laughs> but I quite, I, I quite like that it's sort of like this sort of inflated jewellery. And then the flamenco we went really big, so it's like a kind of cushion. Um, and, and then, and then we have that's the Barcelona. Um, we simplified it as well. So, going to a more cleaner edge um, on everything. And then with the clothing, it kind of goes more kind of bombastic or kind of, you know, I've been looking at this idea that, you know, like what are kind of new types of subcultural groups that happen online. And I kind of was interested in this idea of like how in the digital kind of manifestation that we're in at the moment is color becomes incredibly important. Um, to kind of grip, so when you grip the kind of viewer, so I was into this idea that when black is used, it's incredibly black, or when you have color, it becomes like this sort of kaleidoscopic, something which is way more uplifting. And I think it's, it's good that we have, you know, we have the Barcelona, Amazona, the Goya, the Flamenco, and each, you know, the puzzle, as we build them, you kind of have a balance between old and new. So you've kind of got, you know, your structure bags, but at the same time you've got the experimentation. When I first came, it was this idea of past, present, future. So I think it's starting to kind of stretch itself out more now, and which is a, a nice feeling. So yeah, pandemics can be good for things. <laughs> Loads of really interesting textiles. Like Very really, Christmassy. Yeah. <laughs> in a but good way. Yeah. <laughs> Christmassy in a good way. <laughs> um, no, it looks very like sparkle a... motion. Somehow. Yes. This is um, raffia. That's raffia. Yeah, which is really nice. It's completely circularly done. 
Um, so it's one ribbon. That's yeah. It's sort of like it's, it's constructed around. If you see this, like layers. Uh, it's like this here. It's a spiral. So it's kind of like a hat. Kind of like a construction um, of a hat. Um, very Daniel Steele. Yeah, very Daniel Steele. <laughs> I think this time the clothing really is a kind of a departure into somewhere new, which I, I kind of wanted um, this year. <laughs> I feel like when you've been at a brand for a longer period of time, you start to want to reinvent yourself within the brand that you're in. So, and I think that's why it's quite nice to go back to the Amazon because I think when I first joined, I kind of rejected it. <laughs> <laughs> Put it um, on the side. And now, working with the team and working with the factory, we've kind of come up with a way that I feel like it goes back to the jacquard that we used to have, and it goes back to the shape, but by just sort of subtly refining it. And that's your logo. And, and it's our logo, the new logo. So it's less... <laughs> so it's, it's... Because originally, the canvas in the 70s was like this, but very Baroque. Um, so I think it's quite nice that it becomes more kind of canvas I, I really love the green. This is my favourite, actually. Um, and it's quite nice to kind of go back to the, the original padlock and, and, and really kind of look at it in a new light. And I think, you know, sometimes you need um, an icon like that to kind of, you know, kind of... Um, when you're going quite bombastic with the look, sometimes it helps to ground it. Um, so, yeah. That's it. Voilà, this was my report about Louis V. The Winter 2021-2022 collection by Jonathan Anderson. If you don't want to miss the new fashion from Le Gay Paris, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. bell.